place this week I am in my home sewing room um, just finishing off some bits and pieces here if you're keeping up with the channel you'll know there's lots um, going on and um, I'm in the process of um, getting stuff done I've got some projects that need starting and it is always good to be able to finish one so this week I have um, been focusing on photos on fabric something that's been um, brought up in the members club and we've been discussing that There's a couple of projects in there as well that is using photo fabric so that has come really nicely because this week I've managed to finish a, a cushion that is using a photo so I'll be pleased to share it with you now let's have a look there we are this is Bo so beautiful rabbit um, and I've printed her um, photo onto fabric um, just picking up bits of thread off there um, and then I've incorporated it into a cushion front so I've used this dark green um, to pick up the green of the fabric and you can see it I've just got a nice little flange in here which um, gives a nice little break between the photo and the outer fabric adds a bit of depth to it and it also helps to bring out some of her colour in too done some free motion quilting in the border you'll see that it's not a square photo so I've got a narrow uh, board top and bottom the sides are a bit wider um, so there wasn't a way of making this square so that's the way that I've used to overcome that on the back we have a covered zip put the link above so that you can um, see the tutorial on how to do that and I've finished the um, cushion cover using some binding which is helpful for the zipped area you're not going to get any extra bulk where you're trying to sew the seams around there uh, when it comes to turning it out so finishing touch now just to actually put the cushion pad in so put that in there to get one side in first put the other side in and I do like to make sure that the corners go into, of the cushion go into the corners of the cushion cover. Just helps to give it a nice finish. And then I can zip this up. Nice satisfying sound that. There we go. And that is all covered up. Take these bits of thread off and that is then ready to go to its new home. So these photo cushions are a great um, gift idea that is going as a gift to somebody um, and I'm sure that it will be a very special um, gift for them. If you look on the website I'll put links in the comments below there's um, a link to where you commission a uh, can commission a uh, photo cushion. Um, at the moment I am going to be in the process of starting a signature quilt which I'm going to be using um, photo fabric for. I've got a wall hanging to do so there will be some more tutorials coming up in the members club for those. I do believe there's actually a class that you can take an online class um, for creating a photo cushion already on the website. I'll pop the link in for that as well. So what projects have you got this week that you've been able to finish? I'd love to hear about them. Really enjoy in our Facebook group seeing some of the projects people have um, completed this week. Um, it really does help to spur you on. Do subscribe to my channel, hit that bell below and you'll get notifications when new content is added. I'll be back very soon but in the meantime do take care. Bye for now.